Hey everybody, it's Jim here. A few weeks ago, I started a guitar tournament where I took 18 guitars, placed them into a randomly generated bracket by the computer in an effort to find out via head-to-head -head matchups which one would be my favorite and thus win the competition as my favorite guitar of the bunch. Kind of a pointless exercise, but something a little bit different. Today we're at the final four. We're going to have a winner by the end of the video. The remaining guitars are the 77 Albatross, the Gibson R9 Les Paul Standard Reissue, the 1982 Fender JV Stratocaster, and the Fender American Vintage 65 Jazzmaster. For the demos, we're going to be using the same exact kind of rig that we've used all along with one minor change. We're still going to be using the Tone King Gremlin Combo. We're still going to be using the Brown Amplification Protein for drives. However, we're not going to be using the Source Audio Reverb. We're just going to be using a little bit of Spring Reverb from the Strymon Ballante. Our first matchup is the Humbuckers going against each other. The 77 Albatross gets the Gibson Custom Shop 1959 reissue. <laughs> This is a really difficult decision to make. I'm going to try and talk myself through it without spending too long doing so. This guitar sitting down is unbelievably good, and I can't say that for all Gibson Les Pauls that I've played, at least for me. Uh, they always feel a bit bottom heavy, as in the body, and not as comfortable over long periods of time. This one, I could play this for, for days and never get sore, never get tired, and the neck is damn, it's good. A lot of people often associate 
Les Pauls with more aggressive stuff. And as you may have heard, you know, we were on the lighter side of gain compared to some genres of music, but it does do that really well. However, for me, what makes this such an amazing guitar is the fact that these custom buckers are lower output and they're unpotted. So they have this clean tone to them that I really do adore. On to the 77. I'm gonna try my best not to damage either of these guitars. <laughs> that would suck. This one, man, this has an acoustic life to it that really kind of translates well through the amplifier. And sitting with it is, is way different. Obviously, we got the body. The neck does dive ever so slightly on this compared to the Gibson. And standing up, this weighs over two pounds less. So for performing 100% this one. But taking that out of account here, as far as the full package of the guitar goes, the quality of this instrument is, to this day, not worn off on me since the initial honeymoon period. This is... Out of all the guitars I have, this is the best one as far as the, the, the product itself. This is this is the best. If all other guitars were as good as this one, man, be a very, very happy camper. We wouldn't make so many videos complaining about this sort of stuff, but I really like these Mojo Tone pickups. This guitar's got such a cool vibe to it. Uh, it's a one of one. If I have to pick, I'm going to get to the point. I would take this as a favorite over that guitar uh, by just the slightest of margins, ever so slightly. And my reasoning for that is just because I feel like for the style of music that I play, I'm more leaning towards this guy with the cleaner sounds. Whereas that one, it's great. <laughs> How am I gonna say anything bad about either of these two guitars? Uh, that's more of a rock machine for me, despite being able to do clean better than most Les Pauls. Long story short, 77 Albatross is now in the uh, final round. Now it's time for the single coils, the JV Stratocaster against the American Vintage 65 Jazzmaster. <laughs> The Jazz Master. Why not play a little bit of a jazziest tune on it? And I did have the brown on, so it was a little bit dirtier than normal, but I was kind of vibing with it. This is like choosing between two two of my firstborn children, the Jazz Master and the Stratocaster. They're, they're both irreplaceable. I found a new word. And no matter what happens, 
with anything in life, whether it be silly YouTube videos, however long I continue to do this, or just whatever. Neither of these are ever going to go anywhere. They're both lifers, so to speak. I'm not going to take as long as I did with the Gibson and the 77 to come to a winner because as they sit right now, I know. I don't need to deliberate too much. American Vintage 65 Jazz Master is going to meet the 77 Albatross in the final. And if you told me that was how this was going to go before anything was ever drawn up, I would have said you're pretty crazy. But it is what it is. Let's get to it. This has been a lot of fun getting to this point and these two guitars are exceptional. I know, I know. You're watching this thinking, Jim, it's been three, maybe even four weeks. I've lost count uh, of you saying these things, these superlatives about your instruments for the most part. They're, 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 there's something else. There's something else. But a favorite guitar goes above just great worksmanship that goes above everything that's related to the physical like interaction that you have and even the sounds that come out of the amplifier to a certain extent with the jazz master i can turn that off now with the jazz master if you asked me to design a signature guitar this would be it it really would it's got the stage trim it's got the frail ones that just work perfectly for me the feel of it the sound of it everything that i've done with this guitar before i started doing this stupid video stuff with real music it's primarily on the jazz master and i love the vibrato more than anything in the whole world not only does this win today's little endeavor here i'll talk about the 77 maybe for a second maybe not um yeah, I think regardless of how this was seated, with the approach that I took towards this little mini series, looking for my favorite guitar, it's really reminded me that it was this one all along. And that's not going to change, regardless of what I get, what I sell, how rare it is, how collectible it is, how much money it's worth, um, how many were made, none of that stuff. It really does not matter nearly as much as just accepting that you have exactly what you've wanted um, 
for the longest time and everything else is supplementary, I suppose. So the long and short of it is, my favorite guitar is the Fender American Vintage 65 Jazzmaster. And yeah, some of the other decisions were a little bit harder, but this one, obviously it's nothing against the little guy here, but I gotta be honest, this did fantastic. And when I first saw the brackets come out, I was almost insulted that this one was knocked out in the majority of people's predictions very, very, very early on because this is an exceptional guitar. It really is. I love, love this guitar. I just don't love it as much as the Jazzmaster. But that's it. That's the end of this series. If you've watched all these, thank you. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I know that videos like this in this kind of format, they're not really made for everybody. And when I say for everybody, I mean, it's not just like something that you can immediately take some knowledge away from. This is just sheer entertainment, uh, if you want to call it that. And it really does mean a lot to me that there are some of you out there who do find the time worthwhile to spend with me just hanging out in all these sorts of videos, even if it's not always the latest and greatest demo, review, piece of gear. You can't live the rest of your life. If you don't buy this, you're missing out. Nah, man, that ain't always the case. Sometimes, again, cheesy, but true. You already have what you need and what you really love the most. So thank you for watching. People who have won, I'm going to have to check the brackets after this, you will be emailed. Three of you will be winners. However, there was no Grand Prize winner as there was no perfect bracket. Thank you again. Play your guitars, especially your favorite one. And let me know in the comments section of the guitars that you saw here, which one would you take if you could only take one? And which one is your favorite of all time out of the ones that you do have? Have a great rest of your day. Take care.